Hello again, brothers and sisters. I'm back on Wednesday, the 24th of February, and it's 10.07 a.m. now. And I want to share with you some recalls that might be very important if you have these items. And our sister Tessa sent these to me, and I want to share them with you. This first one was found in the Dayton Daily News. Uh, so that's D-A-Y-T-O-N, Dayton, dailynews.com. Okay. A science kit recalled due to lead paint on the included magnet, lack of warning labels. All right. If, you know, first of all, how long ago did they start saying that you couldn't use lead paint? You know why I found out? If your house is painted inside and out with lead paint, this technology of them spying through your walls wouldn't work. But anyway, if your baby's crib was painted in it, they said if babies chewed on it, it could make them sick because they'd get it inside them. Which was probably true. I mean, it's a heavy metal. So there's a picture here of this um, 100, no, it says 10 in 1. I thought it was 101, but no, it's 10 in 1. Incredible Inventions Science Kit. So one of these little, it's for ages 8 and up. So you may have an older child. You might have bought this for them. But you might have a younger child, like a toddler, still putting things in their mouth. That's what they're afraid of. And if they chewed on it, got the pain off, and then ended up in the hospital, they're afraid you could sue them. Well, this is by Daniel Susco, February 20th. This was dated. Anchor Play Products is recalling its 10-in-1 Incredible Invention Science Kit due to lead paint on a red and blue magnet in the kit and a lack of warning labels for magnets and balloons. Hmm. A lack of warning labels for magnets and balloons. I guess children, young children don't need to play with balloons either. Lead is toxic if ingested by young children and can cause adverse health issues. All right, so I'm not going to read any more of it because you can go there and read about it if you think this is something you bought your child. You can't really remember the name brand or did it have anything with a magnet in it. Well, it's a red and blue magnet. It is the horseshoe shaped, it looks like to me. Anyway... Uh, that's that one. Now, um, here's one that's a yummy, yummy product. Uh, Giant Eagle, that's a grocery store chain, issues voluntary recall of gourmet pretzel platters and bags. Now, this is something they put together to sell as a gift. I imagine these 10, they look like round Maybe pretzels dipped in chocolate, uh, light chocolate, dark chocolate, covered in M&M's, covered in this, covered in that, different ones. And <clears throat> I'm trying to see that market district. Okay, they're probably like Publix. They have their own kind of thing like this. Where you can buy something nice like this for a quick pickup gift, you know. All right, so it's found in WPXI.com news. WPXI.com slash news slash top stories. This came out. 
Let's see. February 19th. I've been holding on to these, trying to get caught up. But I thought, well, if you got this pretzel gift for Christmas, you probably donated. it. Um, but it's the problem with it is it has an undeclared pecan allergen, Giant Eagle said in a release. The products included in the recall have sell-by dates through April 3rd, 21, and can be identified by price lookup. PLU numbers 25206 and 45505 located in the upper right corner of the items scale tag. So these were recently made and put up. Uh, so I guess they weren't put up for Christmas. But it it's dated February 19th. Okay, so apparently they, they can sit around for a while. Well, anyway, if you have anything like that, you check it out. If it came from Giant Eagle or someone gave you a gift that looks like... Uh, this one looks like it has eight round, about... I don't know how big they are. It's hard to tell. They took a picture of it next to a, I can't tell. Anyway, so just, uh, if it says Market District Sweets, I think that says sweets on it. You check it out now and make sure if you're allergic to pecans, you're, what it is, is they make something that has pecans also, you know. And then they make these also. But you might want to call the giant eagle nearest you and find out exactly which one of these might actually contain pecans if you're allergic. All right. With that, I'll end it. And I will say bye for now. I'll talk to you later.